There is a, a very simple, outdated questionnaire, <clears throat> and it's play behavior. It's called mm -hmm. the PSAI. Mm -hmm. It's been used for years. Have you? I don't know if you've heard. Rough and tumble play. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and there are twenty four questions on there, and they are sexually dimorphic, I guess you could say that there. You know, my child likes to play with dolls. My child likes to play dress up. My child likes to play rough and tumble, uh, et cetera. And we gave that questionnaire to our population um, and looked at the answers uh, that the mothers gave, both in our population, by the way, and a Swedish population of a colleague there, uh, Carl uh, Bornehag and Gustav Bornehag. And, and um, what we found, higher phthalate levels, these anti-androgenic phthalates were exposed, you know, were associated with less masculine male typical play in our male boys. So this you is know, phthalate exposure to the utero. to the mom. Baby is born in the young human child. Four, four, yeah, four years. I think it was four years of age. Four years of age, less rough and tumble type play. That's right. Among the boys whose mothers were exposed to more phthalates during a critical period of development. Now you can see that's a politically loaded <laughs> issue now. Well, I mean, you know, you know I, yeah, it, well I think we're I mean let's 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 have some fun with this in 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 the scientific sense. The the notion of dimorphism is, you know, okay, male and female brains are different, right? Which I, and male female defined in those almost all those studies as presence of a Y chromosome. And then people say, well there's some there's XYY and then there's XXY. Okay. But most of the time you're talking about XX chromosome or XY chromosomes at birth. Forget everything else for the moment. These are always distributions. This is what I think people need to know. We're not talking about, these are not, this is not, uh, you know, two hills of data separated by a valley. These are overlapping distributions. Correct. Right? So you get males with a quote unquote female-like distribution, you get females with a quote unquote male-like distribution. And I think as long as we acknowledge that, and we're just talking statistics. Right. We're not. We're not placing any cultural or um, any value on it, really, whatsoever. Right. 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 But right. It's, but if you you could make the analog to the intergenital distance, it's kind of similar. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the same exposure, phthalate exposure. You have something change statistically. We don't see huge differences mm -hmm. <laughs> in the boys' genitals, mm -hmm. uh, and and we don't see huge. I don't. We know these kids have not been scanned, so we don't know how their brains look, but. Based on their answers, we don't see huge differences. We see tendencies. We see they are more likely, if they had been exposed to these phthalates, to want to play dress up and have tea parties. More likely. Doesn't mean that they're all going to, but that's the direction and so on. So I think we have to just think about more likely, not absolute. Yeah. And of course, there are also the the sociobiological variables, such as um, if... Uh, young boy has a sibling that's a sister, there's more likely to be we dresses around, that. right? She's we gonna, yeah. if, if he has two older brothers, there might be more rough and tumble play happening in the house. And I have some friends that are women who have older brothers and those women are, uh, you know, some of them roll jujitsu or do, sure, you sure. know, and I know some women who are only children who do martial arts and and, yeah. and fight, yeah. right? Well, you know, yeah. so, so I think that um, none of this is deterministic, right. as we know. I, but but let me just add, we did control for the sex of the sibling, older sibling, and we also asked about the parents' attitude just towards same-sex play. Hmm. So what would you, how would you feel if your child, your male child, played with dolls? Would you be discouraging? Would you incur because it has a lot to do with what's in the house? Mm -hmm. You know, if you say, did your child play with dolls? Well, what what if there were no dolls? This is 